Welcome to the second video. Now this is showing the part that Excel can play with the TRM software. So if you haven't watched video 1 showing the software I suggest you do now. But if you have let's carry on now with the Excel. So in order to get the data from the software into Excel it's simply a matter of pushing the export button up there and then we get the little pop-up telling us we can download. Of course without saying you need Excel on your computer. So we're going to open this now and it's transferred all that data now into an Excel format. Um, I just get a warning up here if I want to enable editing so I do. We click on that. Now the very first thing I need to do is on the second line there is highlight it and go up to data because I want to be able to sort these go to the filter button there click on filter and you can see now that there's an arrow on every column and this arrow now allows us to filter the uh, information. Now, if you're using Betfair, for example, there may be countries or leagues that aren't available uh, that Betfair are not betting on. This is where you can go into the leagues. You can unselect all and just tick on the countries that you want to bet on, say, today. So if we just do this quickly you can see then it filters out the games that aren't going to be relevant to you um, and then you can go about sorting um, what you want so if we look at um, uh, here a one team to score we can just make these columns a bit bigger one team to score if we click on there and sort from the largest meaning the highest probability that only one team will score is that top game there that finish game in group B 60% chance of that game only having one team to score. If you look at the both teams to score and one team to score by adding them together you get the 100%. So obviously if 60% chance of only one team scoring then for both teams to score it's only a 40% chance and that's reflected in those ratings there. So whatever the highest on the one team to score will be the lowest on both teams to score. The reason we have uh, uh, the teams here on this other side is because if you're working on a smaller screen than that, then you've got a ready reference there. You can highlight there and follow through to the games. So you can filter here. Also, if you want it to be a bit more usable, these here, except for this uh, game in Colombia, which was played last night, these are blank here until the next day, and then the results will be put into here. So if we were to go back on to the 8th, then these would be all shown. Okay, so we can sort by league. Um, we may only want to be betting in the in the top leagues here, so we can uh, deselect so those leagues, and we ended up with just a bit more of a quality game there, etc. But uh, we can go here, and it'll tell us if we highlight over it, it'll tell us what the filters are. So we can go there and clear filter and here show all countries and here clear the leagues, clear the filter on the leagues and so we're back now to where we were with all the games, the 38 games that are available today. As you can see the South American games have already been played and we can see the results of them there. So you can filter this a lot more now, important thing here is the time. The time is UK time. So at the moment, as I do this, UK time is on daylight saving. So that's GMT plus one. Now, if we just scroll over here, if you're not in UK time, you can, if you want, make a separate little column here with time. And here's a very simple formula that you can put in. You put in equals, click on the time, so we click on this column here and then we put uh, plus bracket how far, what's your time difference to the UK? If you are plus, you would put the plus sign there here, you put the plus sign. If you are on the other side, Canada, um, going that way, then you would be the, the minus You'll know that by look. Just look at your phone and see what your time is to the UK plus or minus. Uh, I'm here in Australia and at the moment. I'm plus seven hours difference. So seven divided by twenty-four 
end of the brackets, click. And you can see there now it's just come up with a number, not a time. So if I highlight that column, go to Format Cells, down to Time, click on the, um, the 24 hour time, click on there. So it's telling me now that this game in Paraguay at, at um, 2300 hours in the UK is actually at 6 o'clock in the morning my time. And I can just drag that all the way down and that will display now that's displaying my time in Perth here Western Australia what time these games are so that's an easy one if I don't want to if I want to know what time the games are I can just do that simple formula and that is in the user guide that formula so very easy to get your time to be your local time so keep in mind the time there is UK time. Okay so we can um, do other things here obviously we can look at uh, if we want to look at the over 2.5s we can just go there sort largest to smallest so it brings up the games which are most likely to be over 2.5 you can see one of the games played last night was uh, home team 2 away team one so that was three goals so obviously that qualified if we go through the tips we see one meaning the home team which should win it which the home team did win it um, and we just go through through there and see what the results were um, so that's what you can do with Excel and then of course you can print it out as I said you can hide um, hide cells that you don't want to use to make the sheet more compact um, but I love Excel and uh, it's uh, very easy to use once you've done it a few times okay so that is using Excel with TRM football thanks for your time and on behalf of Steve and myself and Michael thanks for your interest in TRM and I hope that you see the value in using it in your football betting thank you